Welcome to video number five of the Cosmetic Job Checklist video series. And in this video, we're going to be talking about quick and cheap kitchen makeovers. Hi, I'm Jonathan Otero. I'm the owner of j, j Management Group and the owner of We Buy Houses Seminole. And guys, I'm a real estate investor here local in Orlando, Florida. I'm building my business. Things are really taking off and things are going crazy right now. It's a crazy time right now in our business and in our industry. And I'm really excited about it. And this video series is to help show you guys when I do fix and flips, there's a lot of little tricks and tips that you can do to save money here and there. It's not like you see it on TV. And if you follow this video series, you know we've taken you to the outside. We started out there and what to do on the perimeter of the house. We've brought you inside and now we're gonna talk about the kitchen which sells the house the most. And a lot of people think that we have to go crazy and spend thousands and thousands of dollars in the kitchen. And that is true if you're flipping a high-end property. But if you're doing a small little house, my niche is somewhere between 50 to $200,000, $300,000. That's my niche right there. Those houses, if they're in good condition, in decent condition, there's little tricks and tips that we can show you that you can save some money and still make it look great. So let's talk about the first thing. And as you can see, even though the kitchen is the most important thing, there's only four bullet points that I want to talk to you about today. So the number one thing, the first thing you want to take a look at when you're determining a fix and a flip and what to do in a kitchen, how to make it over, the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to replace the sink with stainless steel, okay? Now, if the sink is in good condition, great. But if the sink is kind of messed up and not looking good, a lot of people don't want to see a dirty sink. That's where they put their dishes at the end of the day, their cups, their mugs after they drink their coffee. And they don't want to have a, a, a sink that has scratches on it, even if it's stainless steel. Just get rid of it and replace it. Now, I just did this on a property, and I was able to get the standard stainless steel sink that has the two sides, one for the dishes and one for the garbage disposal, and it was on sale for 50 bucks. It was a model that they were gonna discontinue and they were trying to get rid of it, and I got it for $50. I mean, it was amazing. I snagged that bad boy up right away. It was the standard size for a kitchen sink. I popped it in there. It's brand new stainless steel. Gorgeous, gorgeous, for $50. Now, most of the times, I'm usually spending somewhere between 100 to 150 on those things. Um, but again, really, it's, it's just a stainless steel sink. No need to go crazy with it. You can pick it up at your local Home Depot, your Lowe's, your local hardware store. Stainless steel, though, is the way to go. And if you take a look at the sink, if it's messed up, scratched up, replace the sink. Make sure it's stainless steel. And if you get lucky like I did the other day, get a good deal for 50 bucks. It is a home run. So that's the number one thing there. So now staying with the sink, since we replaced the sink with a stainless steel new sink there, we also want to make everything look nice and fresh and brand new and freshen it all up. So we also want to replace the kitchen faucet. A lot of times these faucets, you can remove them if you want to keep it, but they, they're used. And if someone's buying a house, they want everything brand new and the kitchen sells. So don't skimp out on the cost of a faucet, especially if you're buying a brand new sink. Just buy a brand new faucet. Same thing. Uh, you can pick them up depending on where the standard ones could be anywhere from 50 to 60 to 70 dollars. And depending on your taste, you can go up a couple hundred bucks, but don't go more than that. Just get a faucet and any contractor will tell you it's easier to install the faucet before you install the sink. So that way when they, they can put the faucet on the sink and replace the whole unit together as one. It's much, much harder to put the sink on first and then have to put the faucet on. So if you're going to do the sink, you might as well do the faucet. So number two, install a new faucet. Install new faucet. And again, you can get those at your local hardware store, your local Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. And uh, depending if you get lucky, you can get one on sale. Uh, but they run somewhere between 50 to 150 bucks, depending on what model you get. Very, very cheap, very inexpensive and goes a long way. So install a new sink and install a new faucet. Now the number three thing, which you guys will probably know this already, as you're walking through your property and you're determining and you're in that kitchen now, what are we going to do here with this kitchen? You have to see the, 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 where the property is located. Does it make sense for us to replace the countertops? If the countertops are chipped, if they're cracked, if they're damaged in any way, I say, again, it all depends on what, you know, what your, your taste is, but in my opinion, I think you replace the countertops if they're cracked, damaged, or have any issues going on with them at all. 
especially if they're out of date. If they, let's just assume that there's nothing going on with them. They're in great condition, but they're just out of date and they look like they belong in the 1980s or the 1990s. Or I've walked into properties where the countertops are tiled. The whole thing is tiled over. That's something from like the 80s and the 90s. I, I, I don't want to sell a product that looks like that. I'd rather just knock that out and replace the countertops and make it look new. You don't necessarily have to put granite if you, unless your house and, and where the location where your house is, all the other houses have granite or if you take a look at the market and some of your competition that's on the MLS at that time, if the houses for sale all have granite, then maybe you need to put granite in as well. But if your house is not in a great, in the greatest of areas, you can get away with uh, a cheaper, you know, Formica or something like that. As long as it's new and fresh, it looks nice and new. A lot of people won't mind that. And, and anyway, even if you put granite and you spend the thousands of dollars in to put a quartz in or a granite in countertop, if someone buys a house and they don't like the kind of stone that you selected, they're probably just going to replace it anyway. So don't overthink it too much. Just take a look at some of the other houses that are on the market at the time and see what they have. Or actually check the ones that have sold recently and see what they have. And then just tr try to copy that as well. But the key is, no matter what it is, you want to replace the countertops. Replace countertops. So, uh, and, and depending on the size of your kitchen, if you have a fairly large kitchen, the countertops, it can actually be kind of expensive. But it's something that you have to budget for and you have to spend. Everyone knows when they're fixing or flipping a house, the kitchen is where the most money goes to. And so here's one of the big ticket items that you're going to have to probably uh, fix up when you renovate that property. So definitely take a look at it. If it's out of date, that's key. Replace them. If it's chipped, cracked, or damaged in any way, out. Replace them. So replace the countertops. And now the number four thing, the last item of our cosmetic job checklist series, and this is one of the most critical things in the kitchen. It is the kitchen cabinets. You probably figured it out already because I haven't spoken about it. The cabinets is critical. Now we're going to talk about the cabinets because that's something that's, um, that's something that is, uh, it, you have to really analyze really closely. It depends on the location of your property and it depends on the condition of your cabinets but your kitchen cabinets are key. Depends on the location and it depends on the condition. And what I mean by that is this, I'm gonna insert a picture of some cabinets that are pretty much out of date and that they need some work, but I was able to save them by painting them white. So you see the video right now. Now those cabinets, uh, they were a lot of people like that style. It has like a farm style type of uh, thing. All I'm going to do is change the hardware uh, on the handles, and then I'm going to paint it white. That's it. I'm going to paint that whole cabinet white. We're going to prime and paint, and we're going to save those cabinets and save us a lot of money. Now I got lucky on this particular property, but a lot of times you have to just replace them outright. So you have to take a look, walk the property, decide: Are we going to save these cabinets? Or do we have to replace them? And if we save them, are we going to be able to paint them and just change the hardware and make it look brand new? So that's critical. That's something you have to take a look at. Um, hopefully this video series helped you out. The cosmetic job checklist series. If you're a first time flipper, take a look at all these videos and work through them. Write them down. The great part is because it's on YouTube, you can pause them and stop. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure that you give us a call. If you have a property that you're looking to sell, the number's at the bottom right now. 407-796-8557 and our website is webuyhousesseminal.org. Thank you guys very much. Hope you enjoyed the video series and we'll see you out there. Good luck flipping those houses.